welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a squeaky chair. I haven't done a video a video in such a long time. Can't even remember, probably three months, um, even more. But I really wanted to document my pregnancy. So I'm here, I'm back with a 12 week pregnancy up update. If you don't already know, we're pregnant with our second child. I am 12 weeks and uh, five days. So I went for my scan on Tuesday. Everything is perfect. And the, I want to say the posh word for the person who does your scan, but I can't think of it. He said that the baby is the most well behaved baby he's ever seen. So let's hope baby comes out like that. But I'm sure he, she won't. Um, I was just looking for the scan. Baby at 12 weeks and two days. I've actually just got in and um, this letter is waiting for me and it is the Downs, um, Edwards and Petui, I don't know how to say that word, um, syndromes letter and it says, um, we are pleased to inform you that your recent combined screening test has shown your baby is not in the increased risk group for Downs or the other syndromes. So that is um, a nice letter to come home to. So let's get on to, um, oh, this chair is annoying me, squeaky chair. Get on to symptoms. I have had quite a few symptoms throughout this pregnancy, just like I did with um, my pregnancy with Freddie. So, Probably from as soon as, well, when I found out I was pregnant, I was very tired. I'm not a tired person. All my friends hate me because, my friends hate me. My friends hated the fact that when we used to go out, I'd only need two hours sleep and then I could go out the next night and whatever. I've never needed sleep, but oh my God. Recently, or since I've been pregnant this time around, I have been incredibly tired like to the fact where I just want to sleep here now like this but um, I put that down to the fact that I've got a toddler now um, didn't have obviously a toddler when I was pregnant pregnant with Freddie so um, getting up at half five six o'clock uh, does make a difference so there's obviously the tiredness that was the first symptom I think I got then the nausea kicked in. Um, this time round, I haven't had HG, so that's amazing, and um, I'm so pleased that I haven't had that because I was being sick like I don't know, 40 times a day or something with Freddie. Um, but this time round, I've felt sick, but I haven't been sick. I'm not really sure what I prefer because when I was sick with Freddie, I would at least get 20 minutes after being sick when I felt okay again. But feeling nausea, nause, nausea. What's the word? Feeling sick um, and like travel sick constantly, day in, day out, 24 hours a day is not nice. So yeah, um, but I've felt sick, um, mostly like travel sick, so like dizzy and like, I don't know, it's hard to explain that feeling, isn't it, of nausea, but um, I've also had migraines, headaches, I am a sufferer of migraines anyway, so I think it just, um, because of the increased blood flow and stuff like that, it, um, it doesn't help with migraines when you're pregnant. Also, because I can't take my migraine relief or ibuprofen, which is what helps my migraines normally, because you can only take paracetamol, which is crap for headaches. But there you go. Um, other symptoms, skin, skin isn't looking too good. I don't know if you can see. Um, I've got spots like all around where you would get when you have your period. So um, yeah, my skin's not been too um, nice for me. My hair is just falling out in clumps. I had a couple of inches chopped off um, to make it look like it's still thick but I am losing a lot of hair each time I brush my hair, each time I wash my hair. Um, I keep just finding it everywhere, it's all over my floors all the time, 
Um, it's all, I find it under my armpits, all over, just everywhere. My hair is falling out all the time. Body wise, uh, I have got a baby bloat, not a baby bump, but then I don't know whether that's just because the last time round I lost nearly a stone because I was so sick with Freddie. This time round, I have to eat every five minutes <laughs> to make sure I'm feeling okay. Yeah, not every five minutes, but every like hour or two, I need to make sure that I'm eating um, something to make me feel better. I don't know if it's just in my head or I just want to eat, but yeah, I'm eating a lot more than I normally do. Um, so that could be the reason why I've put in some, but I haven't put much weight on. I've only put like three pounds on, um, but I've def I'm definitely increased um, the size of my waist because my waist is normally the smallest part of me. I'm normally quite um, like narrow. Um, I'll put some pictures on if I can find some of what I'm normally like, what I was before I was pregnant. Um, but it's also like when I wake up in the morning, I look normal and then by the time I go to bed I look six months pregnant, so During the day my stomach increases by size so I can show you um, my bump. I'm not sure you can see um, It's not a bump at all. It's just bloat It's like I'm bloated. My boobs come back. Boobs are here um and yeah, I think that's about it. Um, we're so excited. I, before the scan, because I, with, a, with Freddie I had an eight week scan because of my sickness. Um, they wanted to check I wasn't having twins because obviously I'm a twin. And, um, but this time around I had to wait until the 12 week scan. So I think waiting for that, no one telling you, like no one gives you a positive. No one tells you you're pregnant. You just do your pregnancy test at home. I think the midwives would do it. You'd have to see a doctor to confirm it, but naturally do your test at home and they go, hey guys, I'm pregnant. And they sort everything out. So I think turning up to that scan, I thought there was not gonna be anything there. And I was saying to all my friends, I've got a really bad feeling. I was saying to Tommy, like, I, I don't know if there's something happened or something, but I feel really bad and I don't think anything's gonna be there. But it was a little, baby um so everything seems a lot more real now we've had the scan yeah i think that's all i have to tell you this week we haven't brought a single thing yet so um everyone expecting us to find out what the baby is because we found out with fred we were so determined to find out with fred but this time we're not i can't believe it i really want to find out what the baby is, but we want to have it as a surprise on the day even more. So we're going to do that. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It supports my channel and my channel that I haven't been on for ages. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I will bring you an update in a couple of weeks. If there's anything else you want to see, like what I've been eating, the world, um, for while I'm pregnant or um, what I'm buying or anything like that, just leave me a comment below and I will see what I can do. Bye for now.